Hello, good day. It's Wonder Wednesday. So what that means is there was a question answering session on my Twitter. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, go find me. It's Michaela Minner at Twitter. So at Twitter, Michaela Minner. Um, and some Wednesdays I'm going to answer 10 questions. And some Wednesdays I might answer one. And today is one. So the question is, how do I get elevation? How do I get good lift and hit line drives in baseball or softball? So the question can be answered one and the same because the same concept will need to happen no matter what sport you're playing. So here's the good news. There is no bad news. I have photos and videos to show you because it's easy. But the problem is most coaches will tell you to stay tall and if the ball is low, take your hands down to the ball, which logically makes sense. But if you take your bat down to the ball and it's a low pitch, you're probably gonna hit on top of it and hit a grounder. That's why low ball pitchers that keep it low in the zone are successful. So there's a couple things you need to know on how to hit line drives consistently. The first thing is understanding angles and ball path. As you can see, the plane of the pitch will vary between baseball and softball. Okay, so now that you understand that the ball changes planes or changes its angle, you have to get your bat to equal that ball path. Okay, and to do that, it looks like this. This is one of my favorite examples. The hitter on the top is not on plane. The hitter on the bottom is on plane. You can see the hitter on the bottom. The back arm is in the letter L and the top hand is palm up. And that position allows the bat to get on plane early in the zone, stay connected as the body turns, and then wrist release the bat straight out through the ball. So the blue line equals the red line. Question is, do we drop the hands to get on plane? The back arm being in an L and the top hand being palm up allows the body and the wrists and the forearms to work properly. So you can get the bat on plane early in the zone, stay connected when you turn, and then use your wrists to release the barrel and extend straight out very naturally. It's very simple. Okay, so now to understand the angle, the plane, your back arm being in an L with your top hand palm up, now you have to understand the body, okay? So you've got to get your bat on that angle. You can't drop your hands. I mean, you could. Dropping your hands works. It's just ground or city. So let's move and let's live in line drive. City. <laughs> Okay, so you have to lean towards the plate. Mm -hmm. Lean towards the plate. I'm not kidding. That lean is what you need to create the shoulder tilt and the angle in the bat. It looks like this. That tilt is created by leaning. Leaning towards the plate creates the angle. So, dropping the hands down to the ball isn't how you get on plane. Huh. I spy a hitter that's leaning towards the plate and a hitter that's dropping their hands. Hitter on the left, leaning towards the plate. Hitter on the right is dipping and dropping. 
Leaning towards the plate allows the body to get in a position so the hands do not have to drop, so that when you turn, you can stay centered and behind the ball. I understand this hitter is a baseball player, but the concept remains the same for softball. Now, in softball, one won't need as much lean because the ball is coming from a different angle. But that's the same hitter. In both videos, this hitter is hitting a home run. Swing on the left is a low pitch. Swing on the right is a higher pitch. You can see on the left that there's more lean. It's not a dip. It's a lean towards the plate. And that creates swinging on play. Hope this makes sense. I hope this was helpful. 101 Hitting Line Drives. Oh wait, you know what, let's watch that again. Leaning towards the plate, on plane, swings to the ball, home run. Stay tuned, please visit me tomorrow. It's Thursday, it's gonna be an interview with a very popular trainer, talking about some movements you can do to maybe reduce belly fat, maybe to reduce, maybe just to be fit, you know, be healthy. So, the popular trainer's name is Darcy Thompson. It should be pretty comical. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.